That day of June 15th is one that I will never forget. It was something that nobody would have ever seen coming. Eye-opening. I was like really shocked. Never thought anything about it. Life-changing. If you live in the Texas Panhandle, when a storm comes, you don't really do anything. Island tornado that left a trail of damage in the town of Perryton, Texas. Thousands are without power. We have 75 injuries. The best thing that I could say is she was everything. It was everything to a lot of people, but especially to our family. It was um, a living angel. Every day was a party for her. Every time I called her, she was just full of joy and happiness. You guys know her as Becky Randall, but I know her as Booger. When um, we had our first son, she wanted to be called Sugar. And so we all started making fun of her, like they're not gonna call you Sugar when they're in high school, and they're gonna call you Booger and it just stuck. She became our booger. Her license plate said booger. Not only was she booger to us, but she was booger to all of my son's friends, to her friends. She had lived to be a booger. She wasn't just my mother-in-law, but she was my best friend. First thing I did was I didn't think it happened because I don't live on the side of town where it hit. So I was like really shocked when I got out and about and saw the damage and the devastation that it hit Perryton. Honestly, I wasn't even aware that anything had happened. I was moving into a new place when the power went out and I just thought that it was from the wind. She had been calling us all day saying, you need to get home, there's a storm coming, you guys need to hurry. So I remember on our way home, I called her at two, around two o'clock on our way home and I was like, we're on our way home, everything went good. She's like, okay, love you, we'll see you when you get here. Normal conversation because I literally called her for everything. I called her before I called my own husband to talk about things. It was probably around 4.30 when we got home. I heard that there was some tornado south of town. So I step outside and I'm looking for the tornado south of town. Our electricity goes out. We, we are immediately on the phones talking to our coaching staff, figuring out what we could do to, to help and got the gym opened up. The Red Cross got here late that night and set up the cots as the, as the shelter and donations kept coming in and we used it as a supply depot. and. People really started coming and shopping for supplies daily and it was something that it was really easy for us to do, but it was exactly what our community needed at that time. Our former superintendent, Mr. Morales, called me to let me know that um, there had been a tornado and that we were going to open up the high school as a shelter. And so we made arrangements, then um, Coach Underwood stepped in and got all the coaches and students to help out. I started getting text messages. My son showed me a picture and I was like, that looks like that's dad's shop. After about 15 minutes, I get a hold of Shay. You need to go by your mom's shop and check and make sure everything's okay. And he was like, okay. So he goes down the street. And like I said, she had a license plate that said booger. So he sees her car coming down Ash and I'm on the phone with him. And he said, oh, I see my mom. There she is. She's okay. And I said, okay, call me, call me in a second. We'll come to find out Becky and my father-in-law had switched cars and it and it wasn't his mom coming down the street. So they both jump out of their vehicles to rubble. Her shop was completely destroyed. So Shay called me and I race as fast as I could down to where her shop was. And I remember I couldn't get all the way down Ash because there was just so many power lines down and so many people. So. I ran as fast as I could to get there and um, there was people all along the road and I'll never forget there was two kids that were standing there and as I'm just running like jumping over power lines and debris and everything to get there because you, you couldn't drive down that street. These two little kids were like, hi Mrs. Cunningham and I waved at them and I was like, hi and I just kept running and then they were looking for her and they were looking for her and they couldn't find her and then someone from the city ran across the street and, and let my husband know that she, that she didn't make it. And I saw a couple of our friends there and I just, I hit the ground, never imagining that she wouldn't be okay. One month out from the tornado here in Perryton, many of us are still recovering. I think our, our teams, our schools, our, our town, it, Everything is more tight-knit now than ever. I think that the level of community that we're experiencing is something special. It's gonna be a long time before people fully recover from it. 
and hopefully the positivity and like the love for each other, I hope that that really sticks around. I think that everything that was provided, whether it was Spearman, Dalhart, Pampa, the Groover, Amarillo, we, we had help from all over the area. If you're not from Perryton or from a small town, it's hard for you to understand what it's like to be in a community like this. She was a pivotal person in our community. They got the service planned. The amount of people that were gonna be there for her and showing their love for her was gonna be overwhelming. And it was, it was standing room only. She was just, you could see that day what an impact she had had on our community. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that I would have to live without her. There's a saying, beauty from ashes. So that's what our town has experienced, literal rubble and ashes. But I've seen our students and our community stand up and create beauty from ashes. And so I think that's what we can take from this is that as hard as it is to lose someone that you love so deeply and you won't ever get to experience those times with them, like she'll never get to go to my son's wedding. She'll never get to see him graduate. She'll never get another birthday. As hard as that is, I'm so thankful that I got to know a love like that. Life's too short not to live and have fun. And that's what Booger did. She had fun. Every day was fun. Just joy and full of life. And she made everything fun. I hope I can do that too. We've been going by it, and I think it's, it's a couple words. It's just Perryton Strong. Perryton Strong. Perryton Strong.